Hi, my name is Kelly Losey, and I'm the Communications Coordinator for the Benton County Health Department. Today, Benton County reports no new cases of COVID-19. Our special topic today will be Benton County's reopening application to Oregon Health Authority. So you're probably aware on April 20th, the state announced a reopening framework and a process for how to do that. The next step that we got following Governor Brown's release of information on April 20th was a process of how we submit an application to begin our phased reopening. So we first received guidance from the governor beginning last week, and our region, Region 2, received guidance on Thursday. After that, it was a, a pretty rapid scramble to put together paperwork and submit our application, which included all the different documentation on our prerequisites and how we were going to meet any sort of public health threats that face the community. There are seven phases to the prerequisites required for counties to reopen in phase one. The first one is a declining prevalence in COVID-19 illnesses, specifically hospital admissions. The second criteria is that we are able to contact trace 95% of all of our positive cases within 24 hours. So that requires a huge workforce of contact tracers. So requirement number three is to have a minimum testing capability, and that is 30 tests for every 10,000 people in the community. That's a regional requirement. And for us here in Benton County, the OSU trace study, in addition to the testing we do at our local health clinics and Good Samaritan Hospital, more than meet that requirement. Number four is the responsibility of the county to have isolation facilities ready to go for those individuals who are COVID positive but cannot self-isolate at home. The fifth prerequisite requirement for counties to meet is finalized sector guidance, and that is completed by OHA at the state level. The sixth requirement that we must meet is the ability to handle hospital surges up to 20% of COVID patients. We are accomplishing this not only through the Good Samaritan hospital surge plans, but also through our alternate care site plans that we developed here in the EOC. The seventh prerequisite requirement is that we have sufficient PPE for first responders and for healthcare institutions in our community. Benton County was able to meet these prerequisite requirements through collaboration with the Health Department, Public Health specifically, the State of Oregon, as well as Good Samaritan Regional Hospital. We have a bunch of different regional partners that we communicate with, and that is the entire purpose of the EOC, is to help coordinate and communicate all of these prerequisite requirements and start developing our plans. Benton County submitted our application on Monday afternoon around 4 p.m. And right now, those applications are under thorough review by OHA and the governor's office. It could take approximately one week for those applications to be returned. And this is basically because there's 36 counties that have submitted applications all in different formats, all with different levels of detail. And it's going to take some time for OHA to review those applications. Once we receive approval from the state for our application to reopen into phase one, we'd like to provide businesses and the community members ample time to implement different policies and procedures based on the sector guidance from the state. We really want to give folks time to be prepared and ready to open, and our main focus here is opening in a responsible and safe manner. The first thing the EOC is going to provide to the community once we get approval is public information. We really want to communicate this process very clearly and concisely and give very good guidance on how to be safe as we reopen. The EOC also would like to implement some processes and procedures to support businesses to open in a safe way as we move forward into phase one. As a local government entity, we want to acknowledge the fact that this is an extremely personal decision to continue reopening. It's something that's not to be taken lightly and something to be considered very, very carefully. As we move forward into reopening, we really need to encourage all business owners and community members to exercise extreme caution and continue those safety protocol to an extreme level. We want to keep people safe and we want to continue on with our processes into reopening in a safe way. I want to acknowledge the fear and concerns within the community regarding our reopening. We will definitely communicate regarding our application as soon as we hear back from the state. You can find that information on the county website. Finally, please stay safe out there.